Hey guys, this is Grinder here from Androidify and in this video we're gonna go over an example of implicit intents. If you remember, implicit intents declare a general action to be performed without worrying about what app will perform that action. Implicit intents are used to take advantage of certain features provided by other apps on the phone without having to implement those features in your app. So we're gonna start off with a new Android Studio project in the activity main.xml file. We are going to start with a linear layout. Uh, the orientation is going to be vertical. And let's create a new added text element. Uh, the width is gonna be match parent. Height is going to be wrap content. And let's um, provide a hint for the added text element. I'm gonna say type a message dot dot dot. So let's create an ID for it because we need to uh, refer to this edit text element in Java. So I'm going to say um, edit text. That's going to be the ID for it. And now uh, let's create a, a new button object. The width is going to be wrap content. Height is going to be wrap content as well. The text is going to be send email. So when you click on the button, it's going to take you to an email app. And so we need to have an onClick method, which is going to determine what happens when you click on the button. In this case, it's going to um, take the user to an email app. So for the onClick method, uh, I'm gonna name it send email. So let's create another button object, which will um, take us to a web browser when we click on it. So for the text, I'm gonna say open in browser. And the onClick method, I'm gonna say open browser. So let's go to mainactivity.java and let's uh, create a new edit text object. So I'm going to say edit text, edit text. And inside the onCreate method, we are going to bring in the edit text object from XML using the ID. So we're going to find edit text object using its ID. So I'm going to say r.id dot edit text. And I'm going to close it and we need to so since find view by id is going to return a view object we need to convert that view object into an edit text object so if you click here and press alt plus enter then you can cast it to an edit text object now we need uh, two void methods uh, public void and the name of the first method is going to be send email so send email and it's going to take a view object as the input parameter and we're going to create another void method and the name of that method is going to be open browser open browser and this too is going to take a view object as the input parameter so when you click on the send email button then it will provoke this method here if you search for common intents android in a search engine and you click on the first link uh, it will take you to developer.android.com site on the right here it's going to give you all the different kind of intents that you can implement in your app so since we're going to be opening an email app when we click on the button i'm going to click on email as you can see it shows you different types of actions that you can set the data that you can set in this case it's none the type of data that you can set as well as all the extras here so I'm going to go back to Android Studio and we're going to create a new intent object. I'm going to say intent i equals new intent. Now you can either leave the parentheses blank or you can set the action here. So I'm going to say intent dot action send since we're sending an email and I'm going to say i dot set type uh, it's going to be text forward slash paint so it's going to be plain text so now let's 
add some extras. I'm going to say I dot put extra intent dot extra email. So the value is going to be an array of all the recipients that will receive the email. So I'm going to create a new string array. I'm going to say string array. The name of that array is going to be array equals. I'm going to create the squiggly brace and inside it you can put in all the emails. So I'm going to say at gmail.com. So that person is going to receive the email and laptop123 at yahoo.com. Uh, now I'm going to put in the array as the value. So I would not include the recipient emails in advance because you don't know if the user really wants to send the email to these people. So now let's include the subject of the email. I'm going to say I dot put extra intent dot um, I'm extra subject and for the value I'm going to say this is a subject. Okay so now let's include the body of the email uh, I dot put extra I'm going to say intent dot extra text and for the value, uh, we need to get what the user types in the edit text field. So I'm going to say edit text dot get text, which will get whatever the user is typing. And the to string is going to convert uh, whatever the user is typing into a string. So I'm going to store whatever the user is typing into a string object, string message equals edit text dot get text and convert it into a string. So um, for the value for extra text, I'm going to I'm going to put in message here. Let's just start the activity. But before we do so, we have to make sure that there are apps on the phone to receive the email. Uh, if there aren't any email apps and you don't include this if statement, then your app will crash. So I'm going to say if I dot resolve activity and it's going to take a package manager uh, as the input parameter. So I dot resolve activity um, get package manager. If it doesn't equal null, so it's going to make sure that there are apps to receive the intent. Then we start the activity. So if this is false, then start activity simply would not be called. So I'm going to pass in intent object in the start activity method. And now we're going to do the same thing for open browser. I'm going to create a new intent object. Uh, so I'm going to leave the parentheses blank in this example. So I'm going to say I dot set action. So the action is going to be intent dot action view or not call action view. So we need to set the data, which is going to be a link, um, a link of a web page. So I'm going to say I dot set data URI dot parse and I'm going to say HTTP uh, forward slash www dot yahoo dot com. And now we're going to make sure that there are apps to receive this intent. Um, so I'm going to say if I dot resolve activity get package manager if this doesn't equal no uh, which means that there are apps to open this link then we're going to start the activity so now let's run this app on our phones so let's type in hello how are you and if we click on send email um, let's select gmail okay oh we made a typo here we forgot to put the add symbol uh, so I'm going to delete these two lines of code because we want the user to type in who will receive the email. But anyways, uh, as you can see that um, in the subject line, it says this is a subject and in the body, it says, hello, how are you? And so it works. So I'm going to go back to um, our app. And if I click on open in browser, then it does not work. So let's see what happened. Oh, we made an error here. <laughs> So as you can see that I put a semicolon here. 
it has to be exactly like this HTTP colon I put a semicolon instead and that's why it didn't work so if I click on open in browser uh, it works I hope you learned something out of this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to read the article over at androidify.com. Also, make sure to follow me on social media. The links will be in the description. I've also included the common intents page in the description, so check that out as well. I'm Gurinder Singh from Androidify, and I'm committed to helping you along the way.